what's going oh, on. Very good. I'm so sorry. Technical difficulties. Um, no such thing. What's up, Dace Tagger Nation? Welcome to another edition of the Dace Man Show. I am your host, Chris, the Dace Man Dace. Uh, we started talking about how the computer was failing, and it obviously hurt us, and it's failing. Joining me as always, Gibby. Behind the production desk, Frank Ward. We already did Hello. this once. I don't know that. If I lean into the microphone, you can't see my face. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. I ain't got I nothing for you. I don't have anything. There's no news. The only news that was announced today is the fact that E3 will be returning this year on a digital front, and Nintendo and Microsoft will be attending. Not Sony, though. Two weeks early. Yep. Um, and it's not, yeah, Sony's not attending, which I thought was kind of interesting. Blizzard's not going to be there. They're never there. Jesus. Uh, EA's not going to be there either. They're the three mainstays that aren't going to show up. Um, EA's just going to tell us there's another football game coming? Pretty much. Another football game, another baseball game, another hockey game, another golf game. Fantastic. Soccer game. Soccer manager. But the good news is There's the no Philadelphia news. Phillies are currently un the only undefeated baseball team in the league. They're 4-0, swept those little bitch Braves, and they beat the New York Mets last night. And they're currently tied 0-0 at the top of the fourth. <laughs> they're the best team in baseball right now. Currently. Hi, okay, I was looking. Uh, why did the Nats have zero games played? COVID. Is that what it is? O opening day was postponed for the Nationals and uh, Mets because the Nationals had four players that they will not identify uh, that had some bad habits. They played their first game today against the Braves. The Mets played their first game yesterday against the Phils and got their asses handed to them in the eighth inning. Smack. Yeah. Uh, once they went to their bullpen. So now you know how it feels to be 2020 Phillies. So intense. So much... So much everything going on. I like on. the confusion in the chat. What's going on in the chat? <laughs> Two multiple right. basement protocols going there, back and forth amongst them. <laughs> yeah, there is one basement protocol that says, I like this new setup. So I asked, who are you? <laughs> I like it. We need like to start it. restricting who has access to this. Motherfuckers, get your own account. That's right. That's right. You know, most of the time when I tune into a stream, too, it's not, I have the Days Fan 14. That's just laziness on their part. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we got a show for you. Again, you may notice that Frank Ward is behind the production desk. That's uh, new. It will be going forward until one of us disappears. <laughs> well, I don't want to name names, but don't want to name names. That's right. We're a new banner. We're open to taking. <laughs> we're open to taking bets on which one you think it is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> karma shifted the wrong way. Uh, but again, there's not much going on. There's no real movie news. There's real no uh, fucking gaming news in the world because Con Mario news. died last Con week. Ton of news. What do you got? Lots. I don't think I told you. Well, did we talk about last week? Dada, Dota 2? Dada, 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 Dada. Oh, I highly doubt it. I would have fell asleep. Uh, if you have Netflix, they uh, they have an animated series on there. Neat. It is. I actually am watching it. It's. I think it's really good uh, because I know the lore. Is it, there's uh, a story behind Dota? Yeah. You guys are fucked. He just said there's lore, <laughs> so. Guys, yeah, you guys are fucked. Like, straight up fucked. If you, like, yeah. you don't know it and you try to yeah, watch it? Yeah, I was going to say, it is so... That sounds fun and appealing to the masses. Yeah, because uh, at first I was like, oh, this is really good, everyone should watch it. And then I'm thinking about it, I'm like, yeah, you have really no idea what the fuck's going on. You know what else is on Netflix that's based on the game? Dante's Inferno, which I was shocked. We stumbled, well, no, it's, on, it's not on Netflix, it's on Amazon Prime, um, where it's just like a shot for shot of the game. And, like, you're fighting the bosses at, like, every ten minutes in the movie. Right. Isn't the game very boob heavy? Oh yeah, there's tits, there's anime tits in there. Gotcha. It's an anime. It's not actually like a live action. Gotcha. Right. But every time one appeared on the screen, it was like tits. Yay, <laughs> boob. And then I fell asleep. Uh, and then Paramount had all Happy. their stuff. Uh, for Star Trek. Oh, uh, they all dropped. Yep. Well, I I think I did see that the season two of Lower Decks premiered. Is that a thing? It did premiere. It said their trailer released. It did. Yep, and then Picard trailer released, Discovery trailer released. They all released. I guess they're all also going on to the uh, Comcast. I think it's Peacock, I think. Wait, who? Okay, what the fuck is Peacock I doing? I don't know. They're like striking well, deals left and right. Well, I think it's because Paramount's merging with somebody now. CBS Viacom. or Viacom. I have no idea what the Viacom, fuck's going CBS on Viacom, CBS did now. the merger. Viacom owns Paramount. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. That's what's even been done by now. That's why they went to Paramount. Oh, their stock went to fucking shit last week because they announced it. 
Oh, they're merging with somebody else? It went. Boom, you baby! Know, I'm glad you brought details. Because now Boom. we can constructively talk about it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, it went down like almost 40%. Like, well, who are they merging stock? with? Because the CBS Viacom uh, thing started two years ago. After they got I, rid of I think Wimbledon. it finally went, uh, maybe it just went finally into effect or some shit. I don't know. Now they're calling it Paramount Plus. It's That's not, been like that for a month. It's not CBS All Access. It's all fucking yeah. shit show. It's been like that for a month. I love it. Welcome to the club. Yo, you welcome to the club because it's been going on for a month. Welcome to America. Uh, the stock finally caught up with it, I guess. <laughs> Possibly. They may have gotten the first month's numbers and realized it's yeah. not doing so hot. Um, WWE Network officially died in the USA, the, uh, United States this week. Rip. They merged with Peacock. It, only in the U.S., though. The, the network's yeah. still available in any other territory across the world, but the U.S. Uh, is now on Peacock. This is America. That was sort of like the same thing they did with, uh... Billion dollars. With, uh... Oh, my God. Emma? No, Discovery, when it originally came out. It was only on CBS All Access in America. Everywhere else, they got it on Netflix. Well, like, I just thought it was bastard. weird that he sold solely in the U.S. Like, I'm not watching WrestleMania this year because of it. I don't have Peacock. I'm not giving Peacock money. Comcast is fucking dick. I, I think the, the only way you can get Peacock is by actually having a cable. You can get it on your own account, and I think it's like it's like five ninety nine for the premium, or like maybe seven ninety nine for the premium to get WWE Network with it. Mm-hmm. Like they have the add on package. It's fucking cableism. They just repackage themselves into a streaming service. They also give you free Peacock if you buy certain packages. Yeah. Like, I got free Peacock with my internet. Do you have it with the internet? Because I thought I lost it because I got rid of their cable. Uh, That package I got, they sent me the stupid, like, box thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't have that either. I threw everything. Is that interchangeable? I don't even have their router in my house anymore. That shit all went to the You probably got their router. Can I just bring that? Yeah, I did. But can I just bring the little box thing over, you plug it in, then you get Peacocks? I could no. probably just use your account on my PlayStation. You cannot, my friend. Are okay, you sure? Chuck, I think Chuck's hosting it. I'll well, get his address out at the end of the show. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, or you can, if you log in, that'll be fine, probably. See if he actually finds the... Yeah. But you can't watch it on Amazon products. You have to. I have to watch it via the PlayStation 4. They have not struck a deal with Amazon for it to be on the Fire Cubes or the Fire Stick. It's really? only available on the PS4, which is a pain in the ass, because I stream on the PS4 and I have the HDCP unchecked. Fucking oh, so step, step up. up. No, that's really it's a pain in the ass. So you can't do it through, like, uh, any, like, Chromecast or anything? I don't know how that one works. I have just figured out how to cast from my computer to Chromecast. Yeah. So, maybe. I don't know if I have an account. And, I, again, I don't want to pay them. I would pay them. Them assholes. They already take enough money from me for so fucking internet. So, I'm now all elite. Boom! Boom! I made the move with the big show and Christian. Chris Days went all elite. I'm not gonna watch that either. So, at least I get the ten. Oh, Jared subscribed. One month streak, guys. Good job, Jared. So I'm assuming that eventually drowned us out at some point. <laughs> no, he said the audio is off. Yeah, it's off. He said audio is off for alerts. Months when we first started. Oh, it's because I probably didn't switch it back to the day stream quickly. He was the last one to stream. I haven't switched it back. I well, can't figure out how to work that shit. I blame him. All right, when you're done peeing, put the toilet seat down. I can't. It's too hard. You're yeah. lucky if I pull it up. I'll get it up for my stream. I always remember to do it for my shit. I did show up, man. Yeah, it shows because usually you have the same pedal from the last stream. No, I changed it. I changed it. Well, I changed it on the what's called. It says go live and I change it. Whatever it does. Most of the, like, you had, like, more Spider-Man as your title last week. I don't understand why it doesn't. Sh- I, mean, I guess I have to log in a dashboard every time then. Oh, I never log in a dashboard. God. I'm a That's shitty producer. I, I have no idea on uh, anything. Uh, I don't get it. We need to get our shit together. I just wear, I wear a headset. I have a microphone. I look professional, but reality, no idea what's going on over here. King of the North is a train, though. Woohoo! On the Nightbot? No, that's just the message you get through Twitch. Which is Nightbot, is it not? No. No, he, I think he's talking about the push oh, no. notification. The push notification's been changed for months. Uh, it says check out the newest creation for Basement Protocol. I changed that months ago when it was pointed out that every ca- thing kept saying Gibby is live. And then some something's fucked because. Okay, so this that's is the push notification for Twitch. Um. Oh, he just changed that last so Thursday. Okay. What, what, what's up, Basement Dwellers? A King returns. Say, yeah, yeah, that's from the Thursday before the game is on. So it's been I, a week. I don't know why I'm showing the camera. That one, that like one you, you can have see to it. actually go on the dashboard to change. That's how I changed it last time. I don't know how to do anything. 
the ad shows. I, I try logging in half the time and I need a fucking pen, which is just annoying. No, we ha we have to yeah. go to the dashboard to change that. I didn't realize he changed it on that Thursday. Because there was a generic one that just said, hey, check out this newest creation for Basement Protocol. Once I realized because then Gibby went live. Ooh. That's fair. Ooh. Anywho, Dude. um, I got a game set up. I gave Frank a, st a stack of cards back there. For video game trivia, I looked at the first question and was completely like, yeah, I'm going to fucking bomb this. So we can go through that. Uh, I apologize that there's not much news out there. Well, like, uh, I have something I would like to talk about. Sure. Is it baseball related? Uh, is it Star Trek it, or no? It is. Okay. No. See how this works? You know the power of the producer? That's how you shut Gibby up. So... A thing that I wanted to talk about is what I experienced over at the Phillies game last night. Oh, I'll turn you guys back on. Okay. Uh, Power's going to his head already. I can tell. Yep. <laughs> it did take long. All right, and you guys are off again. Can't I fuck can't goddamn kids. Can't, can't control themselves. So, there I was, enjoying a lovely bases ball game. <laughs> and a foul ball came in our direction. Did it hit you? No, I'm telling a story. Your story sucks. So I, I saw it flying through the air, and I'm like, oh, that's close. And it went to this gaggle of people that didn't have hands. Not literally, but they just couldn't catch it. So it bounces. Wait, are they I cardboard cutouts? No, people, people. Like the actual, they have a heartbeat. Like, re uh, well, I didn't check Someone the Someone from the Yokozuna, I think, was there. Is that, what, is that the guy you're talking about? The Yakuza? Yakuza. <laughs> That's the guy I kept talking about. He was flying. He wanted a ball so bad. But he was on delay. Like, it's like he yeah. was on a five-minute delay that the ball dropped. Somebody picked it up, went back his, to their seat, and all of a sudden he just sprinted. His AI had terrible lag <laughs> when he was trying to control it. Yeah, because after I got hold of the ball, where's my camera? I had the ball. And he comes flying in after I had the ball, and he just walks off defeated. And after I have the ball, I look up, and there's this child and it's and his dad and family. And the kid looks me in the eye, I look the kid in the eye, and I have that moment of, fuck. So well, here's the problem with that. So I instinctively toss the kid the ball like a good person and sit back down. Fucking two Iowa. issues there. He's Iowan, yeah, which he's Iowa. a lot nicer than most people in this area, and two, he's not a baseball fan. So he didn't give two shits that he had the ball, and he went, here you go, kid. Had it been me, I would have looked at him like, look, I'm 32. Was it a foul ball or home run? Fa no. I I said that at the beginning. It was a okay, foul. Foul ball, and who hit it? The Matt Lindor. Yeah, I get you, kid. Mm, so, no, okay. Yeah, I've been going. Phil I, the Phillies, I I've been to over 100 games, and this ball has never landed near. Well, okay. It still didn't land near you because you were off yeah. getting food. I was out at a fucking <laughs> store because somebody had to have pulled pork. Oh, it's not watching. And it was just like, if that had been me, the kid wouldn't have got it. I would look at the kid like, look, I'm 32. I've paid for over 100 fucking games. The only other foul ball that came my way is no longer in my house because it went with my ex. So I don't got one. I don't have one right now. So you're not getting this. I remember There's no kid that I brought that's gonna take it from me. It's mine. <laughs> I remember what's it called. There's a foul. I think it was a home run ball though. That uh, what's his name got? Who? You're so. You but, know uh, you should do talk shows more often because you bring details. But the nom nom nom. So. And then so he, part, again, gave it to the little girl. Was I there? That I, was a long time ago. Yes, you were there. It was fucking, we had, like, an entire row. We had too many people. So was it the wrong end of the row? Because, again, the kid would not have gotten it. I drove yeah. out of the way. Okay. Did the kid I, have, like, a hot mom? Is that why he gave it away? Uh, yeah, like, she did. Real? Okay, because that's what <laughs> happened. Still would not have given it away. I would have looked like, look, there's a lot of disappointment coming your way. But, First of all, you have yeah. a single mom. So where the fuck's your dad? I don't know. But we would keep moving on, and this ball is going home with me! Okay, but that's not my sole issue, because I do realize it was a personal choice. I could have chosen to do other things with said ball. I think it's more forgivable for you, because you're but, not a baseball fan, and but one, Iowa. But one, the precedent of the fact of that's what's assumed that you should do. Hmm. I, so, I, I want to so circle back to the Iowan thing real quick. Societively, because that's a word. I feel like we shouldn't be pressured to have to do that. But secondly... I feel like it's the beginning of a Joker meme. But secondly, uh, if you notice, any time that the players are throwing balls into the stands, they always throw it to kids. Yeah, and not Tyler, who was trying to bond with that outfielder. <laughs> trying to bond with his dad. <laughs> he kept yelling, Dad, at McCutcheon. Really? It makes sense. 
<laughs> I like it. So I just feel Run! like it's it's kind of unfair that all these kids ruin games for paying adults. You're right. Even though I technically didn't pay, I was see when I was a kid. A plus one. When I was a kid, you had to go to the vet, and the only thing you got back then was syphilis. And you had to walk up hills both ways. Yeah, and try not In to trip snow. over other sports equipment because the other team played the day before. With no shoes on. These fucking spoiled kids are going to a nice ballpark where they give out all kinds of free shit these days that, you know, isn't a disease that lasts with you for a lifetime. But I again, treat syphilis. Frank has a, a great point. There is a weird society, like, dictation there. You have to give the ball to the kid. And the kid is, like, pre-programmed to know this. Because the kid doesn't break eye contact with you once you get Like it. I said, Puppy dog he eyes. stared into my soul. Yeah, and, and there he, was, like, several other incidents. And he we won. Were, we were right on the foul, pole line, or foul line, so, like, there was a lot in our, our section and the section next to us. And each time, there was a kid there staring at the adult that did the work. You do realize a lot of those kids are probably there and don't even have shoes there? What do you mean shoes? Well, they have to visit. Oh, at COVID, least for this maybe. Yeah. I, was, I was gonna say because I have <laughs> seen it in plenty of times where the parents will be somewhere and the kids will be uh they'll just go to where they know they can get a ball. <laughs> well, that's what was they they tried to do that, but they got yeah. they were kind of stickly, like the uh oh, the, the uh, police. They them. Yeah, yeah they I was gonna them. say because like usually the kids were will wander because the kids will gather right behind uh sort of like where the, the first dugout. baseman yeah. is or the dugout is. Because they know, again, that they'll just toss the ball in when the uh, inning's over or whatever. Um, well, it, Kutch- McCutcheon was doing that in the outfield as well. Like, they would have their practice ball, and he would turn, look. Paisley did it once, finds yeah. a kid, and throws it to the kid. But the judgment that happens of the kid staring at the adult who fought other adults to get it. It's not like it fell in his hand in front of the kid's face, and he went, you know what, you should have caught this. Yeah. It was, I caught this. You're from four sections over, and you're trying to take this from me? I would have been the bad guy. And I probably would have flipped the kid off. <laughs> Do the work. <laughs> would have taken it a step further. Not only kept the ball, which <laughs> is totally in your right to do. I think it should be in your right to do. You got, Like you just said, you fought for it, you got it. Yeah. And the only ones who kept them were the Mets fans. <laughs> if a Mets fan caught it, they thought it was funny to keep it. I feel like there shouldn't be a stigma if you're a home team fan and you keep the ball. Because they're not going to give you one. The cool thing, too, is if you catch, like, a home run ball, they'll come and get it from you, give you another ball. That, like, they'll mail you another ball with a signature from the person who hit the home run. Because the player wants their home run ball. So what if you say no to that? I would I would totally tell the kid to get fucked. Like, look, dude. No, no, I'm talking about the the – if you had a home run ball. And they oh, came to you. That. If they came to you and they're like, uh, "Hey, well, mail like, no, 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 I want, I want so, this so, one." So keep offering the offer if they don't. I was gonna say, like, pay me. I can see that. Yeah, I'll start giving you, you like. No, no, mm. Normally, they'll, they'll give you extra tickets to give, give you. Yeah, t-shirts, yeah. Yeah. cash, t-shirts. cash, cash money, That's cash money. I, I even well, heard, I've even heard in it. some cases where they'll have like a personal meet and greet with with the player that hit the home run. Yep. Nope, keeping it. I want cash Especially money. Especially if it's like, um, like their hundredth or their like a career stat. Yeah. That's important. Oh, I would. I'm gonna start going to more baseball games. Is you what should. I'm learning because I'm. I'm gonna get. Could, I'm gonna get it. Somebody caught a JT ball last year or 2019, not last year, uh, in front of us. Person comes down, gets the. the I had no idea what the fuck was going on. They were like, That's "He right. wants that ball. We take this. Give us your address." And they took him like the customer service and shit like that. And got this information and would just mail him a ball with JT signature. So, yeah. or if you refuse, and do it, they? And it's not always a ball either. Sometimes they'll even do jerseys. Are yeah. you sure they don't just take you out back and beat you if you refuse? They might. Uh, like, they, uh, just come with us. We'll talk they, about they, it. Technically, they can't force it from you, but they will make it worth your while to get out that ball. Mm-hmm. Um, you and say it, so. it doesn't actually cost them any because they're not actually gonna give you money for it, but they'll give you. Uh, like, maybe the player would like if you caught. Uh, well, if you caught, I I don't Harper know. Harper and JT can spare it. I I don't know baseball like if uh. Hi, if you caught uh, Bryce Harper's two, I don't know how, how many home runs. Two hundred career, two hundred career home run, yeah. and we're like, no, 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 I'm keeping it. I'll tweet him, and then just tweet him like, "Yo, buddy, you want it? <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Cash money, let's go." Uh, I would be like, "There's a podcast I've, you need to come uh, to." I have a charity event <laughs> in uh, just, in I'm March. I'm just gonna go with you could 
probably get away with it, but it wouldn't happen in such a stadium. No, <laughs> but, I, like, they're, the, the no, team's but, not going to want it to be associated with them. It would have to be handled personally. Oh, no, that's fine. <laughs> but I like the, I like the angle of, but, uh, uh, we yeah. have a charity event coming in March. You need to be an appearance. In a fanatic suit. Like, you have to come well, out of the fanatic yeah. suit. But now again, oh, my God, it's Bryce Harper. He's the fanatic. But, again, now that could be something you could do at the stadium. Because that's not, like, I'm just saying there's no way they're going to give you or, cash for it. Hear so. me out. We hold the event at the stadium. <laughs> just totally up in the hand. I want my name on this yeah. sign out front. <laughs> this is mine. And we are going to play the games on that fucking big screen. And I want it on that screen and that screen. And I want a donation ticker over there. <laughs> Exactly. And every time we hit a thousand bucks, you set that fucking bell off. Bing. You are no longer known as the Phillies. You are the Dace Man. <laughs> ah, so it. I think we're going to more it. baseball games because that needs to happen. <laughs> right. Yeah. But you said there was a second point aside from uh, bullying kids when it comes to the. the well, know, I have like a question. Observation? He wanted to circle back to Iowa yeah. too. I know. How, how long until he's not an Iowan anymore and becomes a Jerseyan? It just. I, it, Peaks out, but you know how like <laughs> it's been here for you, how long now? You're ne- you never fully lose anything. Yeah, it's it's a hidden shell. Like he found it in my soul. Like I said, the kid peered into my soul, grabbed that Iowa part of me, and went, "Hey!" And I'm like, "Oh." <laughs> there you go, kid. It's probably more the I don't give two shits about baseball thing that drove, well, drove the uh, it, action. So that's gonna be me. It wait, never happened to me. I'm wait just like here, whatever. I don't care. It's a fucking baseball I, to me. I do. I well, I still kind of regret that I should have given it to Tyler for his birthday. Yeah. It wasn't his birthday, but for his birthday. <laughs> well, we were pretty much there for his bachelor party because we dipped on the uh, South Carolina because the game was on. Mm. Um. So that would have been a good prize or present. Yeah. But go. the only problem is, it, again, it was hit by a Met player. Yeah. True, but it was a guy that's named after chocolate. And their most expensive so, player right now. So w- I wonder how that would work if they hit a, if a Mets player hits a home run in the Philly stadium, will they still go out and yeah. try to get the ball? Probably. Because uh, I would think most people who work in the Philly stadium are baseball fans, yeah. and they understand the value of it. True. Because, um, like, I wouldn't want, I mean, I'm not a big Phillies fan or whatever, but, like, I wouldn't want his big But there's also a lot of times, too, where you, they throw the ball back on the field. Yeah, oh, yeah, like, boo, I don't even yeah, want boo, this. Boo, and then the ball's flying out there. Yeah. And then the, our, our outfield does the justice. <laughs> the justice. Fair. <laughs> also, I had to take the headset. That That is a very tight head. I don't know how you, you have a bigger head than me. It was I squeeze, usually, like, squeezing the juices. I also yeah. only keep it to one and hold it. That's smart. I just, I decided it sounds great. We're fine. That's right. If there's audio issues going forward, sucks to be you. <laughs> Um, but you had a second point. Was this based on the base bit or the baseball uh, observation? No, no, no. My second point was not. So the first point was just the social obligation to, to give to give the kid the ball. The second point is just the fact in general that the kids are favored by the athletes themselves. Mm-hmm. During any given, I mean, even if you look at football games. Well, that's a problem for me, too, because I didn't become a baseball fan probably until like 2009. I never I became was, one. Never. I was drugged to games in 2007. They won a World Series in 2008. I went, you know what? I'll stick around. Like, I, I, I've i gone to enough now. Yeah, but because even if you look at football players, when they do give away balls, which, to be fair, they have to pay for those because they get fined every time they give away football. Mm-hmm. Which I think but if they is don't give so it away, fucking dumb. But if whatever. they don't give it away to a family member, because there's some that do that, which that's fine. But otherwise, I, and I don't know the backstory. Maybe it is a kid with cancer for all I know, but it's always kids. Well, that's right. Guess who's going with me to every yeah. I'm just saying if Camp, Camp always did the what's called, and then it would always find a, a kid in the front row. Yeah. Like, if it's a Make-A-Wish like Foundation thing. kid, uh, that's a different conversation. I that's not what I'm arguing. how much he fucking lost giving away all those I, I'm also not even arguing that kids shouldn't get some. I'm saying the monopoly they have on it is just yeah. unfair. But th- you want to know what? I actually respect Bryce Harper, and here's why. So when we went to our first game, they had the 200 sections blocked off over right field. Mm-hmm. Uh, they had no nobody up there because they hadn't expanded to 11,000 yet. They were already only at 88 or something like that. Mm-hmm. Well, he looked at the people that were sitting in the 100 section and then fucking seen how far he could throw it up the goddamn stands. <laughs> and the ball landed in like the 400s where nobody was sitting. Mm-hmm. And I went, respect that man. We should go take a walk over there and get that ball. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, but I was uh, I was probably like, like watching him play, and he was looking at people. He was looking around. He looked around. He's like looking through the fans, and all of a sudden he just fucking drilled it up to the top. And I was like, "That's amazing." I like it. See, I how approve. far can I make it? 
Th- their outfield, like, I didn't I didn't pay attention to the Mets outfield, but our Phillies outfield is fucking funny when they get bored. Like McCutcheon, who scaled the wall, knew he wasn't getting it, but still climbed the wall anyway and just kind of watched as the foul ball was dropping to see who was catching it and then came down. I like that kind of shit. I assume everybody does it because you get bored out there. Yeah. But anyway, that was our outing this week on the Phillies. We, we don't do that in softball. We don't uh. get bored out there. Uh, I, I, I The infield do. probably does. We shit talk. They don't talk as much out there, I guess maybe because it's further away. I, and we have four. That's, yeah, yeah that's true. Our, our boredom comes into just coming out of our mouth. Yeah. But actually, I'll, I will fake hustle towards a foul ball like that, and then after a real one's hit, I go, fire, I blew my load. I'm yeah. trying, like, <laughs> and that one's gone now. <clears throat> but I'll do that next time we're playing. If I ever get to the outfield and we're just having to catch the softball, I'll just turn to the out, like, fucking hurled over the fence. <laughs> We need that ball. Yeah. Gave it to the fans, <laughs> and then just walk away like a gangster. All right. But, uh, but yeah, that was our outing for the Phillies this week. Again, there's not right. much. So the problem well, is there's not much news. But we're gonna do the video game trivia. It's probably gonna be really fucking rough. I looked at yeah. one question and went, I don't even know what the fuck that system was. I, I've uh, uh, scanned a few of them. It might. I was hoping for multiple choice even. I guess you didn't see any. I, the only one I was. I want to ask you about is Picard. I still haven't watched Picard season one. Did you watch, well, season one, whatever. Did you watch TNG? I'm at season six. I found a list that says the important episodes. So, obviously Picard is not in the trailer at all, because why not? All it is is a showing, basically, his office that they kind of recreate. I think it's his office they recreated on the uh, that ship mm-hmm. or whatever. And at the very end, he goes, uh, another guy comes on and goes, the trial never ends. Uh, well, they brought him back? Well, I, I, that's Q, man. I was fucking serious. So are you saying Q from Star Trek or <laughs> Q from Q enough? <laughs> Q enough. Uh, no, Star Trek. Because as soon as he said the word the, I was like, oh my god, they're bringing Q back. This is going to be a fucking amazing se- season. Um, I have no idea how it's going to even... Because uh, the first season was kind of ended. Like, it's basically wrapped up. It's basically done. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't think they were actually going to do a second one because of how old. You say that every yeah. time you bring up a card. <laughs> like, I mean, it's just... I don't know what when, they're going to do When now. we were speculating for WandaVision, you're like, I don't see how they can bring back Professor X. He's really old. Yeah, like, and it's, it's sad. I didn't realize until we watched Picard season one, and I'm like, oh, my God. But, uh, yeah, so this one's obviously looks like it's going to rub around Q. So it's going to have, I don't think it's going to, it might have something to do with the uh, first season, but I doubt it, but who don't know. Huh. Just, I, you know. Did you watch Kong vs. Zilla? Yes. Did you catch it? Mm, no. It's pretty shitty. I it's not shitty. Yeah, it's a, it's a fucking normal monster flick. Like, it's not, like, it's not... And you went in with higher that's, expectations? That's exactly what it is. Like, yeah. What, why would you go in with high... Ex- oh, I was expecting, like, a Pacino and... I was expecting I a story, I love, a romance, story. a twist. Exactly! Where did they come it's, from? It's How many babies being they gonna have? It's like people it's like that go into, like, the right. Die Hard movies, like... Die Hard movies, like, oh, that was a little extreme. It's a fucking yeah. Die Hard movie. I mean, the, the only problem is, is I feel like the trailer completely blew it all because you already, like, you already knew what the fuck was going to happen the entire time. But there was a definitive winner. I don't care what you say. No. There was a definitive no. winner. Oh, that's, they yeah. both well, walked away. We just talked about this Sunday. I didn't they have time to see it since Sunday. I, I realized that. And I didn't I really want to shut about. this idiot down on it. They both walked away. But I don't want to, well, he's ruining it. I can't, I can't mute you in real life. I know. <laughs> and I really want to just, you know, go like la 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 or something like that. Because. I can't, I can't even mute you with noise canceling. One of them was down for the count. And oh. the humans had to intervene to bring him back. Both so, walked away. Both bullshit. walked away. There was Both a definitive winner. Away. There was a definitive winner. And then they I, had a part two of like, oh shit, he needs help. Uh, my, my only thing with uh, this is it's Godzilla versus Kong, but it was really feel like it should have been the other way around. Kong versus Godzilla. Because you follow. It was a big Kong movie. Yeah, I was gonna say you follow oh. Kong ninety percent of the time. But at the same time, you you didn't need much more of Godzilla. You understood why Godzilla was doing what Godzilla was doing. It's like five minutes in. Oh God. The, the moment o- when that no, podcaster. The only broke reason in. you know that is because of the fucking trailer. If you didn't know the trailer existed, no, you I knew it. You know Godzilla lore, you knew what was coming. That's You've never point. watched any of the awesome 60s and 70s uh, ones? Oh, God. I, isn't that how long ago it's been? Like, yeah. Like, watched any of them? I so, can't remember shit. So, like, 
And there was a cutscene at the end of Gods of, or Godzilla King of Monsters that kind of alluded to this. Nope. I yes. Don't I don't, well, yes. There was. There was. I didn't they watch had it. King Ghidorah's head. I don't know what that is. The fucking three-headed one. They have one of his heads. Again, if it's after the movie credits or whatever, darn it. It's like immediately. Like it, it just went through a couple of like. Uh, I watched it. I didn't. I got nothing on this. That's good. all I can fucking tell I enjoyed tell you. it. It's a Godzilla movie. It's a monster Well, it's a flick. Kong movie, yeah. but it's, they're fighting. I drank uh, the entire time. He gets Stormbreaker at some point. Um, Is that what that was called? <laughs> no, I just... Uh. I, it looked exactly like Thor's fucking hammer. Okay. Um, it's interesting. I definitely, like, they could do another movie. I mean, I they do, will though, do again, another they movie. Walked I'm away. Sure. It's the highest grossing film in a year, so... Better be. It's the only fuck thing that came out in the past year. New Mutants came out. This year? Last it, last fall. Yeah. Oh, you're going twenty okay, so you're saying twenty one. Mm. Well since since the vid Well all no. of HBO Maxes has been in theaters and released. Like what? No, the only one I can think of is the stupid chick with the lasso. Wonder Woman? No, that's it, the Wonder lasso. Woman. Yeah, so that's a superhero movie and this now did it. You know you know those uh like um, inter- sorry, I'm kind of going off topic, but the the internet memes of like poorly describe a movie. Gibby should just describe movies. We could turn that into a game where he sits back here, just tries to explain a movie. We got to guess what the fuck it is. Oh, he poorly describes anything. That's yeah. We can I can't we can drag use that. anything out. I don't know who said it. Did you watch Sean Oliver time. this week? Yeah, I actually just watched you that today. Pillow? I th- wait. Yo, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Toby, please spoil it for me. That was a fuck. <laughs> Cage it was only fif- oh, only fifteen dollars on Amazon. You can buy it. He bought John Oliver bought two. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need him. I'm gonna need him. I'm gonna fucking put but it right from, here. From the screenshot he had on the uh, show, it was fifteen. It looked like fourteen ninety nine mm. on Amazon. Oh, that's because of Kong and Zell. There's a definitive winner. Same way there was at WrestleMania twenty eight when Triple H held a sledgehammer over the Undertaker's head and Shawn Michaels went, "Don't do it." We know who's gonna fucking win that if he swung that sledgehammer. Jerry Love the King Lawler. Just saying. Yes. yes, so did Undertaker and Triple H, but we know who the definitive winner was. The guy with the fucking sledgehammer. No, he went to jail. He, been, he was really no, lost No, there's no battle. jails in wrestling. My left hand just went. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> That's what you need. That's yeah. written in the story. Uh, the other thing I watched that was new on TV is a cartoon called Invincible. I doubt either of you have seen that. Never heard no, of it. No, sir. Uh, so it's another Robert Kirkman creation. It has J.K. Simmons as the lead voice actor. It has a shit ton of Walking Dead people doing voice cameos on it. Uh, Jason Manzukas is there. Manzukas. Uh, Robbie. He's in it. That's uh, why you watched oh, it. Oh, that's absolutely that's why it. I watched it. Sister Shannon came out with her part three or whatever. Who did? Sister Shannon. Didn't that part three? That's been out for a while, part I think. Part three, part four, whatever the fuck. Whatever. They, they, they literally uh, just released it the Netflix. about a month ago. That's what I mean for a while. Because yeah. I've seen, I've act, I did see that, yeah. The old oh, time a while thing. ago. A month ago is a while. I, I guess don't fucking, in streaming dude, terms, hold, I guess it is. I've already said this. <clears throat> time is a construct. All right? I have no idea how much time has passed. Anonymous it, cheer. Thank you, Anonymous cheer. Uh, That's for... For the QAnon. There's the another thing on HBO Max, too. Called, did, um, we said Loki trailer? Yeah, I've been waiting for a pause in the action. I was going to bring it up. All right? I've, I got this under sorry. control. I'm sorry. Well, anyway, I'm going to stick with the HBO Max thing because fuck you. Yeah, you, fuck uh, yourself. Uh, you. There's a QAnon series there too really? where they break down uh the creation of 8chan oh really uh and how like so did we talk about this last week i don't think so i know we were talking about 8chan or whatever it's it's interesting but, yeah. didn't know there was one after four um it, and they're only at like eight ton or something like that or eight coon well there, yeah th- that's a whole different side of like yeah uh, like the rumors on the internet is like all this the Gunk that used to be 4chan, they they're the ones that like moved to 8chan. To 8chan which they had then, the creator in the document document uh, docu series speaking about 8chan. Yeah. And then because he viewed the QAnon guy debuted on 4chan, 4chan went no 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 and blocked them. And then yeah. all of a sudden the 8chan guy's like, well you can't block people. It's the internet. So, from from what I've understood, this is all I from the internet. Because mm-hmm. every once in a while I get bored, I'm like, yeah, what fuckery is 4chan up? And I go look and see what they're talking about and shit. But that's really what you do in your downtime? Well, that's three steps behind, because you're not even into the deep fuckery. Well, no, no, that's what I'm getting. But anyway. Jesus Christ. So really, what happened is 4chan's 
cracking down on shit. Like, they stopped being as anonymous as they used to be. Mm -hmm. So, the, whatever, the OG Anons or whoever the fuck they are, they spun off, they made 8chan. There's, like, Is where Anonymous came from, the hacker group? Anonymous was on 4chan. Yeah, but, like, they spun off. There's, like, seven other chans right now. Like, I think 8chan actually got deleted. Yeah, it got shut down. And now there's, like, other... This is the QAnon uh, shootings that were just tied back to that message board or something. Yeah, so then they've moved on to make other, like, chans There's eight and shit. It's eight something um, that the guy Q moved to. That was on camera. Shit, shit. <laughs> you guys saw, you saw assault. I want a lawyer. But anyway, um, it's an interesting watch because, A, I don't pay attention to the internet that, that much. Uh, B, we should yeah. totally be Q-tubers. Uh, if you listen to that asshole every week, we are there. He spins theories on speculation all the fucking time. On we, yeah. On anything. We can, ma- we can make a note. We can try to see what we can do. Like, I want to be opposite of a Q-tuber and be, like, the D-tuber that goes through and just, like, start spinning the opposite side of what they're spinning. Like, oh, my God, the Republicans the are, like, D-tubers. touching people in a donut shop out behind, like, the... Fucking oh, man, I can make San Antonio yeah. Riverwalk. Like, just make some shit up. No, it's completely true, remember? I was yeah. going underneath the toilet like this, and that's how they knew to get, you know, exactly. I'm just saying, it happened. And you just life. start spinning some, like, Republicans that are dead that can't sell. Be like, no, they fucking started it back in San Antonio, and they meet there annually on fucking June the 13th. Why? Because that's when Christ ate a donut. And that's how you get to the D-Tube. It's all about the fucking uh alamo man jesus christ stay always tuned. links back to the alamo stay Not tuned true. to basement protocol productions <laughs> where who knows if we do any of this i am gonna start d anon anonymously giving you the d boom oh uh, uh no i can it's cool is there like i a, speak out against republicans no i mean like do you just keep the lights off like do you just keep the lights off at that point or do you wear a uh well i'm gonna i'm covering? gonna type a bunch of gibberish and then call up my key code and that key code is what I'll post under, but it's going to have my face on it because that's how I sell things. And it's going to just be all my anonymous things, not so anonymously, and you can choose to believe it or not. These oh, assholes get on it. YouTube and just regurgitate nonsense, and they're getting invited to conventions. They're putting put on the TV. They're in the documentary on HBO Max. Like, come on. I could totally do this on my other side. Right. All right. I like. I approve. It is producer approved. You heard of Pizza Gate? There part. it is. I'm bringing you Donut Gate. Donuts. Baby. Bringing you the D. Why did you throw a hole in there? Yeah. They fuck it. <laughs> After they got done fucking children in a basement, in a donut shop behind the Alamo. Anonymously. Anonymously dropped by Ted Cruz. That's right. You just gotta figure out what politician has money in Dunkin' Donuts. All yeah. of them. It's clearly <laughs> Mitt Romney. Massachusetts' favorite son, and that's why he moved to Utah, because shit was getting hot up there. And now he's a senator out there, and he moved on from donuts, and he's doing falafel. Falafel, you ask? Well, that's because Mormons don't like it, so he would never suspect that Mitt Romney had a falafel shop in Utah where they rape and molest children. Where else do you not hide it? It's it's right in front of uh, Mormons. You just got the D from D and I. Whoa. Do Mormons really not like falafel? I have no idea. But that, that was you my take- bought it. That was- you bought it. You bought it. You sold. That We're was in. We're that in. was my takeaway from that whole we thing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just dropped that one little dime in there. And we, you know we, what? There'll I'm be hooked. thirty YouTube videos about falafel and Mormons hooked. now. That's right, Dan. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm bringing the D and on. It's coming. <laughs> Ooh, that could be the tagline. Giving you the D because it's coming. Stay tuned to the Basement Protocol. May twenty second. This will come out. Put a deadline on you. Uh, well, good, because we have to do it before June 13th so you can prepare. Grab your tiki torches. Follow me into the distance. Make sure you get the citronella kind because I hate mosquitoes. Bring it! Bring donuts. No, 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 no. That, that, then they'll know. <laughs> Bring munchkins. Mormons we'll don't fill like those here. Holes. Fuck the Mormons. Who's talking? People are listening. This is how it starts. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Aaron. Don't mind him. Well, this is how. Oh, he'll join state. your. Co- this is how it starts. He'll join your cult. Are you starting a cult? Is this a cult? No. Yes. Don't call it a cult. Good. That was I'm test not one. saying I'm D. That was a, that was a test. But no, I right. might be D. We'll have some Kool Aid right. for everybody. Don't worry. Welcome to D and on. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna buy the domain. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell, Danon? 
this is yogurt? <laughs> And that's all I got. But you were going to bring up Loki trailer. I was actually going to bring up video game trivia. Oh. Well, Loki trailer was brought up in the chat <laughs> right, before what? I went down the Dianon rabbit hole. Dianon. Dianon. And we're not going to call it a rabbit hole. It's going to be a mongoose hole. Mongoose. Do Dianon. mongooses have holes? They do now. And we right. just brought the D. There it is. Did you see the Loki trailer? No, I had no idea he was dropped. Well, this was a short conversation. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Video game drop. trivia. Somebody mentioned it in there. I don't I feel like, like oh. he gave anything new. Or anything, like, I still, I didn't watch it. I still haven't watched the fucking Falcon and Winter Shoulder yet, so I, 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 I don't even know. I realized it. it was dropped in the bullshit chat, and I just glossed over it. I still have seen the first one, so. What? I normally, I don't really watch trailers that often. Like, I don't seek them out if I happen to see it, but, like, this, I've been busy, so Star- I haven't, uh. So the only reason I know all the Star, Star, uh, Star Trek mm-hmm. stuff is when it was all Star Trek, uh, First Contact Day. Did, what's well, First Contact Day? April? April Fool's Day? Yeah, don't ask me why. Because Star Trek's a joke. That's why. Oh! <laughs> that is the only Ooh, reason it's first okay. contact day. Why would it be 420? I contact day. Don't ask me So, why video why? game trivia. <laughs> yes. Because uh, we are not on the same page tonight. For, first, do we have any punishments left over from a... Uh, we have hot sauces. A game-a-thon? Oh, God. That's not a punishment for Gibby, though. Beans I threw away. Yeah, well that makes sense. Uh, well, I was just gonna say that you know to make the make the stakes worth something, the loser had but to do. Is, is it fucking multiple the, choice or no? No, it's not. So chances are neither of us are gonna get them right anyway. Uh, well, we'll see how it goes. I I'm not gonna uh, like well, just. He, he can also like freeze. I'm gonna screen. screen yeah, yeah, like I said, I'll see how it goes. I'll screen the questions a little bit. Screen all the ones I know the answers to. All right, how about the loser? Because I hope it's Gibby. You have to rub hot sauce in your eyes. Fuck you. <laughs> we both wear contacts. Yeah, that'll be fun. That's never gonna happen. Uh, all right. Well, I don't. We don't. All right. Well, I just wanted the stakes yeah, to mean something. That's all. Yeah. Well, what? now, now you're it's a good point. Maybe we'll think of something next time. That's. Yeah. Well, well, we. Got, and I shouldn't be on it because I suck at. Look, trivia. I'm just saying we gotta we gotta work you on this whole. A, uh, a better shot at gaming trivia than me. Well, we'll find out. We gotta, Probably we, not. We gotta work on this whole punishment. You know, it's that game with the guy with the thing. You know. <laughs> See, he keeps. There we go. So, we got to work on this whole punishment thing. That way, we're better for next year. That's all I'm saying. Brought up in our meeting, and I'm like, okay. So it I'm is on the. No- I think it's on the notes. I don't know. It, I don't really yeah, like that so it's I something really I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, you know, as I watch my streamers and as they do something stupid, I'm gonna take down. A lot of it's usually eating something disgusting. There was bugs. I didn't order them. Uh, like they had the chocolate oh. covered uh, insects and shit. I was actually gonna suggest, but along with the whole like sh- like uh, game, the, the uh, oh, well, like smaller like shocker bugs. thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, bugs, because everybody hates eating bugs, so like eating insects or something. I try but, uh, it. I don't know if I'd like it, though. The it insect? If chocolate, I'd eat it. Well, I don't know. My we problem can... is I wouldn't eat it in chocolate. I just all right, we, we, can ta- we can table that for Make him eat chocolate. what we're doing. So, all right. Video chocolate. game. All right, go ahead. Video. We need to get you guys buzzers, too. I want buzzers. Especially because right. this is going to be, you're just going to yell the answer? Because, like. Yes, it's fine. Or we'll look blankly at each other. Or get you whiteboards or something. We, again, we'll table this, but we'll, we'll work on this productively. Yeah. I actually have been continuously looking for trivia games because I thought the one day we did it, it was interesting. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to up the... We don't have the... much time right now, so we can uh, only go through a couple. Hold on. We got all the fucking time in the world. All right, mister? Sure. Until at least 10. All right, yeah. This show don't stop till I say so, or days. I try crickets. We can keep going. I don't care. Um... Anyway, I'm sorry. I was just saying I tried cricket. Are you are you are you are you ready? I'm ready. If he's okay. not paying attention. Yeah, well I'm then you get points. Lo- what is a jackass? Loser gets punched in the balls. You're right. Didn't even ask the question. Punch him in the nuts. Okay. <laughs> he's got take the punch, not kick. In the Animal Crossing series, I'm done. Which greedy character upgrades your home? Tom Nook. Woo! Ding 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 ding. I remember ding, that because I yelled at him all the time. I actually think the only time I streamed Animal Crossing, I bitched about Tom Nook. <laughs> because when the American, when the world shut down economically, everybody ran to a game that did capitalism. That's right. I'm actually realizing, I think your guys' knowledge is going to be very, for, for these mess? purposes, it's going to be very uh, just different. Polar opposites of what you right. each know. Well, you know what it actually means is, who listens to who better? Well, uh, maybe. He brings all this shit up on the show. Yeah. And some stuff sticks. I know it doesn't stick over there. Well, he didn't have a clue who Tom Nook was. Yeah. And I know you've ranted about Tom Nook before. We all yeah. have. 
And I'm not even an Animal Crossing fan. Like, this is the first time I got into it. Apparently this dude's been around for years, and he just fucking swindled me, and I went, hey, fuck you, sir, I will turn off your game. Um, alright. Which famous wrestler... I'm out. I'm totally not playing favorites with these questions, yeah. I, pr- I <laughs> yeah, promise. Yeah, right? I'm out. Had a cameo appearance in Saints Row 4. Ray Mysterio? No. I, I've never yeah, no, I, I don't even know if you guys will get this one. He Ripple did. H. He's dead? Oh, he's dead. I'll give you that. Like, how recently Roddy, dead? Roddy Piper. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. He did a lot of acting stuff. He's also been in It's Always Sunny, They Live, all that kind of stuff. That yeah. makes sense. That would have been my guess. Um, I, I don't like how as soon, after, as soon as he said it's dead, Rowdy Roddy Piper, yeah, not Roddy Roddy whatever. Piper, but I, yeah, as soon as he said it was dead, I'm like, well, who would have been on the cast? There's a lot of yeah. people fucking kick, There's, yeah. but not none that would have done. Who else would have done something like that though? Uh, it depends. I I mean, I thought Saints Row isn't that like a Latino thing? Like isn't Latino gangs in that? Ye- yeah. So when you said how, so. I don't know if it's in that one specifically. I thought so. maybe Eddie Guerrero. I also don't know the time frame. Because he was Latino Heat with the Lowriders and all that shit. And that seems like it would be in that game. That's Ric Flair dead? I, mm, he should be. I, also, I was going to say, I could see him doing it, too. I, I do also <laughs> like, though, after I already said how I don't know how much time has ever passed, and then I said he died, and you're like, well, how recently? I, he died, like, two years ago? He was during the show, because I did do a show tribute to him. Yeah, but I couldn't um, actually tell you. It, that was, like, 2000. 15, 16, I think he passed see, away. Yeah, so I'm way, I, like I said, I was thinking like two, three that years ago. Six years ago. Probably, whatever my answer is, I probably just got to multiply it by yeah. like three. Yeah. It's probably that far back. Right. 20, 2006 was like two years ago. Anyway. Um, hmm, maybe. Since his first appearance in the 1992 game, Kirby's Dreamland. I'm done. Who has been Kirby's arch enemy? King DDD? Yep. Should have known that from the snack. Uh, I've never I guess I, I could just always. King DDD was in. Did, <laughs> did you got? Did you guys play Bioshock? No, I own it. Uh, I played a little bit of it actually. Here. Uh, uh, that's, uh, uh, the answer I needed. That way, I just knew. Uh, Big Daddy. <laughs> There's a three prong thingy. I don't know. It's the one that doesn't make sense that comes after it. Infinite. Uh, you guys play Dragon Age? No. No. <laughs> Earthbound? Ness and Lucas. I don't know what the fuck Earthbound is. But Greg and Vince. Um, not, not mm, you could just have an educated guess on this. Sure. In Theme Hospital, who who do sufferers of the disease King Complex impersonate? King Kong Complex. King Kong? Educate, just take an educated guess now. King Kong. So you're looking for the game? Uh, like no, Elvis? No, no, no. Who, who's the king? Elvis? Yeah. I like what how Gibby gets just that? the random I don't know, I'm just, I'm just I don't going know. off because you said king, so I'm yeah, just like, what other I, kings? King Kong? Elvis? You played as king, and you kept saying how awesome That would have been the next one. That would have been my next one. Yeah, I would have I literally just went through every king I had known. And, <laughs> and we just <laughs> talked about King DDD. I would have never guessed King DDD. So I def- <laughs> reading <laughs> this lo- did just do it. This depresses me, because like, as I read this question, I didn't know the answer, and I 100% should know the answer. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, you guys right. probably don't, but in The Last of Us, um, to which organization is Joel attempting to smuggle Ellie? This is one of those cases where, like, this uh, is why CDC. I this is why I kind of suck at trivia because the umbrella like I said, corporation I didn't pull this one. Right. CDC. That's the Fireflies. The umbrella organization. Yeah, I didn't I, get past the. I don't think I got deep into that game. I just wanted to read the question to show how dumb I am. That's that's, fine. that's all. Fair. That's fine. <laughs> Especially for the guy that keeps pushing. Hey, we should go to trivia. Yeah. Do it. Introduced in Mario Kart 64. Ooh, I know this one. And a staple of the series since. Which controversial projectile targets the race leader? The blue shell. Red shell. Oh. See, this is why we need dingers. So whoa, that way. Whoa, whoa, whoa! The blue you shell. Said, did you say red? The blue shell was in. He said red. Yeah. He said blue. The leader. He blue. Said specifically targets the leader. the leader. Mario Kart 64. Red shell will target who's in front of you. Look, if you want to. Blue targets the leader. And if you want to like Green question, is just look. Chaos. Don't try to fact check me. Fact check the cars. All right, I take it. Take say, it up. I'm almost positive he that design was not in '64. Leader. I, I understand what you're saying, but the red yeah, shell I think was started out in '64. Take, take it up with Professor Puzzle. Blue shell was in '64. Yeah, but I don't remember that being in '64. And that's when it debuted. Yeah. All right. I'm it definitely sorry. wasn't. Go ahead. Debut. You're probably thinking SNES. I never played '64. But you never had it. You were a baby. Oh, sorry. You're waiting on me. Yeah. My bad. 
No, I like I like YouTube bickering because it gives me time to like screen these questions. That way I don't have to... Legends. Did you guys play League? Yeah, I played. Here, here we go. Here's a Gibby one. Then maybe, or maybe uh, who I'm knows? Not that good at it. Just play for the. In, fun. in League, what term is used to describe a number, uh, the number of minions a player has defeated? Term? <clears throat> Let me try. Last I'll, hit. I'll reread this because I mucked it up a little bit. In League of Legends, what term is used to describe the minions a player has defeated? For also what it's worth, like nobody in the chat's even trying to guess any of this. Fucking Abortion. terrible thing. Uh, it's creep score. <clears throat> uh, I always, I'm just start, I the always card. start the last hit. For, for the minions? Well, the level like... Yeah, that's what gives you your golden... In South uh, Park, they're, they're the black people. That's what gives you your golden, what's called, so you keep track of it, because then you know how much gold to carry has. And it's, it's a score that everyone just seems like to gain. I played it once. I didn't know what I was doing. Creep score? Creep score is the number of minions you've defeated. I'm supposed to ask around because I don't. I don't. I've never heard. I've never Any, heard anyone. Anything. Anyone call it, call it that? Maybe. Well, that that might just be the stupid term that was like. The developer made and went. No, 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 no. Yeah, we ain't calling it that. Fuck off, like, buddy pal. I hear that word way too much in my personal life. Yeah. I don't need to hear it on my game. Like, I've yeah. never heard. Like, I, everyone people, I've ever talked to is last hitting. People so. start asking you like, "Yo, what's your creep score?" <laughs> It's high. And Chris Dan Hansen Ralph, gave it to me. Dan Ralph's got to be like, oh, no. <laughs> last hitting and how many last hits you have. Uh, I mean, yeah. I, that's interesting. I'm, I, I'm going to question that one for my friends because I, I, I really question that one. Friends? All right. Uh, anyway, moving on. Which five colors? Oh, see, this is the problem with the fucking game. It's a fucking British game. They spelled colors with a U. That's Ooh. right. So I'm, I'm upset. Uh, which five coolers are used on the front buttons on Guitar Hero controllers? Ooh, that's a good one. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Yeah. Not not the order I have on the card, but I'll take it. <laughs> what was on that? Oh, I went down to top. You went, you went the other way? No, you top? bopped a little bit. You said, I don't know what order. You, you didn't Red, go in actual orange, order. Because this is actually green, in top to bottom order. Yeah. Well, what's top to bottom order then? It, it's green, red, yellow, blue, orange. Orange is the bottom one with pink. Red. Oh, I thought red. Oh, okay, never mind. You might I just be color. Go ahead. Well, actually. I am. I didn't it, think blue it, was blue. I thought it was, like, violet. Isn't, isn't that, like, the newest one got, like, six buttons now, though? Yeah. yeah the well, the new one, one that's now totally discontinued, the only one that came out for the PS4, it had this. The live? Yeah. I have it. Yeah, yeah I, I played it for a while. I liked it a little bit, but. I have it for the Wii U. Yeah. Uh, but it's totally unsupported now. It's not even fucking worth it. It's sad. It didn't have any music. It had, right. like, bullshit songs and rap songs. Like, how's that Guitar Hero? Right. <laughs> playing Eminem. And not even, like, an Eminem where he sampled, like, a rock song. Right. <laughs> um, in which, in, uh, in which Nintendo 64 game does the player take on the role of Joanna Dark? Joanna Dark N64. Who, uh, I believe Joanna Dark was a member of the... March Madness video game character. True. Tournament. And I know it's Dark something. Thing. But all that keeps coming to my mind is Dark Phoenix, and I know it's not Dark Phoenix. It dark is more Light. It is more something dark. Dark side of the moon. Is uh, the way you want to go with that. Perfect darkness. Perfect dark. There you go. Dark in the dark. Dirka Dirka. Dirka Dirka Dirka. I have no idea. Yeah. Okay. This is actually just waited to see if Dace paid attention to the video game characters. Thing. I copy and paste. It's like a teleprompter right. to me. So again, to be fair, I don't know if I would have gotten this question if I if these roles were reversed, and I should have because I fuck anyway. You did research. Which yeah. developer released Frogger in 19, 1981? Wasn't he in the Konami bracket? Yeah. Okay. See, that's all. Yeah. But like I, I said, I remember that because I was like, when the fuck did Frogger get? Was it, why is he Konami? And see, that's one of those. Like, if these were reversed, I don't know. I probably would have been like, oh Namco. Wait, no, that's Pac Man, and then just tangent. Namco off. makes sense because they made a lot of those type of games. Yep. Yeah. Konami doesn't make sense when you look at who the fucking was in there with. Right. Uh, Alright, here's probably one geared towards Gibby then. Uh oh. What was the first game in the Call of Duty series to be developed by Treyarch? Black Ops. No. Modern Warfare. That's actually what I thought too, and it's, it's I was gonna say Black Ops too. So it's not um like Treyarch? Yep. So it's gotta be one of, it's gotta be one of the Medal of Honor ones then, right? If it's not Black Ops. Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare is Two. No. no. 
You're getting closer. Infinite Warfare. With the two. The number two. Advanced Warfare 2. The number two isn't. No, I wouldn't have. No. It's Call of Duty 2, big red one. <laughs> what? Uh, they not yeah. use them as a developer anymore? So, so it, yeah, so that, that, <laughs> so that was back before there was even a multiplayer then. That was back when it was an arcade cabinet. Yeah, well, that was back when it was literally a fucking a campaign mode. Like, it wasn't. It is I was nowhere near what it was today. Like, I, I thought the first one was Black Ops. <laughs> now you're saying it was the fourth. So how long, wait a minute, how long have they been tag teaming on, did it say what year that was? No, sir. You have phone? Google it. <laughs> uh, oh, you're actually Googling. I was getting no, no, he didn't Google uh, it. Uh, he, he just made noises. This is why we have Frank. Frank is the Google master. Well, I can't do everything. I'm reading I'm reading through a, a deck of cards trying to find questions you might know the answers to or at least be able to guess. Yeah. Which is probably this one. In the original Gears of War for the Xbox 360, nope. how many kills in ranked versus multiplayer matches were required to earn the seriously achievement? Let's say... 25. Let's say 1 million. Higher than Dace, lower than Gibby. Wow. 100,000. Lower. 50. You said multiplayer, right? Yes. Is 100. It in one game ranked, or something? Ranked versus multiplayer matches. Ranked versus... More than 100. Ranked Less than 100,000, I think, was the last... 200, 250. Keep, keep going. 500, 1,000. Keep, keep, keep going. 1,000? No, keep going. 10,000? I, I like this game. 10,000, 10, yes. I'm still lost. Because if it's a regular multiplayer game, if you get into a million... Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? That was all guessing on my part. 100,000 well, is not that's, that hard. Yeah. Huh? I said 100,000 is not that hard. The kills? I take it up with the Brits, man. They're the ones that it wrote these answers. It doesn't make any fucking sense, but okay, go ahead. Unless it's like the, before you died or something, then yeah, then it's like, what the fuck's wrong with you? And I think the seriously was because you have no life. Yeah. Um. Uh, I doubt you guys would know this. I didn't even think I knew. Well, whatever. Published by Square Enix, in which 2018 role-playing video game featured eight playable protagonists? It feels like a Final Fantasy, but probably not. I mean, for all I technically know, it could have been a part of that, but... Eight now, protagonists? Octopath Traveler. In 20... What was it? Octopath Traveler. No, I never heard no, of it. No, I could tell you guys weren't any yeah, of my either. I've never even heard of it. Uh, well, here's an easier one, though. I thought it was one of those dungeon crawlers, like uh, you told me to. What is the name of the fantasy world in which Legends of... The Legend of Zelda series is primarily set. Uh, fuck you. Alright, I was trying to do, like, just find a couple more quick ones, and then we'll just, uh, rapidly wrap, wrap, wrap it up. Alright, we got this. Only, again, it's, it's kind of tough, like, I don't even know if any of these are, oh, well, that's the Dace, that's the Dace one, whatever, I'll, I'll grab a random two more, so I've got, like, five more, maybe, something like that. Five more, okay. And then we'll figure them. figure life out afterwards. Ready? Sure, go ahead. <coughs> Star Wars. Oh, I, no, nobody's gonna. Uh, well, in which video game must the player use cooking and cooperation skills in order to save the Onion Kingdom? It's overcooked. Yeah. What? I've never played it, but that's the only name I know with cooking. <laughs> uh, I was also my clue was gonna be I suggested when it was a free game that we should play it. Have it. That's probably because it was a free game. I think I probably had it too. Yeah, yeah. Probably looked at it and went, what the fuck am I playing? In Fallout 3, Shit. in which settlement does the Lone Wanderer have the option of detonating an, an unexploded nuclear bomb? Dog meat. It's either DC or Vegas. Evidently, the name of the settlement is Megaton. Oh, so the fictional. We're going to be using our fictional names here. That's Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, sure. In the Splatoon series, what is the name of the shape-shifting human squid creatures the players control? Inklings. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> what am I getting out of this? Gibby, Gibby, do you even play video games? I do. That's not, none of the games you're actually mentioning. That's, I've even tried to look through to see any more, like, Gibby, like, I... I got no, like, Gibby-type thing. At least I think. All of a sudden, he'll come over here, scroll through it, and That's he'll pick out ones say. that... Like, you have no idea what I know as well. <laughs> so, well, if you read it, I would never play that. You probably know that. Yeah. 
Well, see, the problem is I might not even know the game, so it's like, oh, I, I would never play that. He yeah. probably played it or heard of it. Like, well, did you play Fear? Heard of it. What is it for? Oh. Good question. Um, see, that's a Gibby type question that I assume he'd get. Yeah, but. I, I have no idea. Uh, first Encounter Assault Recon. I almost said Raccoon, which would have been a way cooler game. Uh, uh, I would have played that. You're a rac- you're Rocket. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Yeah. Um, in the 1998 game Metal Gear Solid, what is the name of the rogue Black Ops unit led by Liquid Snake? I just fucking played this. <laughs> you watched right. me play it. No, so we're what, both what year was it? 1998. It's the first one. It's the first Metal we, Gear Solid, right? Yeah, we were the ripe old age of 10 and... Sons of Liberty? 32, no. That's the second game. I thought that was the name of the uh, who is he? When he goes to Alaska to fight them, I don't know who the fuck they're called. Oh my god! You're gonna say it, I'm, I'm gonna be mad. I'm you not gonna get it. Okay, so you want me to say it? Giving up? Tapping? I am. Foxhound. Ah! That's... I thought that was the name of a boss. No, Foxhounds was the people who broke off. Damn it! Oh we my. just... We were just going through... You know why? Because I played Station Classic shit out. I haven't gone back to it that's since. That's right, yeah. You didn't even get to the second disc. No! That's what happened! It was, like, ready for the second disc. Or I was doing the stupid yeah. pull the controller. Yeah, you were getting close. You had that, and then I think all I had to do was cross a, one, right? cross a plane. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, then we had the boss. All right. Go ahead. Well, here's a nice easy one, and then we'll get to the final that. card. <laughs> Who is the main protagonist in the Metroid series? Damn it. I like Gibby's just solid nod. Should have waited to see if he even knew the actually knew the answer. No, no I, I mean knew that one. I play it all the time. I mean, I let's like he's been eagerly yeah. waiting for this Metroid Four. No, I mean I know no. he knew, but like if it could have came out, that's all I wanted. I was gonna actually say the big green sucky thing. Um, Metroid. I didn't realize protagonist meant the third person. See, and that's gonna... that's why I wanted to wait to see what Gibby's <laughs> answer was. I should have I should have paused so you. I would have been yeah. fucked there, but yeah. Uh, a spin-off strategy game, The Escapist, was released in 2015 based off a of which comic series? Was it The Walking Dead? It was. And then last but not least, yeah, because right, I feel I like... It's, it's been on the PlayStation for a while. I feel like you guys should probably know this. Yeah. Which Dragon Shout in Elder Scrolls V Skyrim translates, translates as Force Balance Push? And I've probably I, seen it. I'm yeah. just, I was going off of like meme knowledge on that, like internet anything. Uh, is that when you like wake up? <laughs> no, nah, it's the, see, I'm not going to do it justice. I was really hoping that you knew it because then you could yell it. All right, let's say it. And then we'll I'm not going to yell it. Maybe. It's the, the fuss ra da thing. Roda? Fuss ra da? I, I'm trying to anger internet trolls. Can we like just clip that, clip that and have us butcher this? Triggered, triggered neckbeards will go nuts. Right. But anyway. Yeah. I never actually Just played play. Skyrim. I've watched Jess play it. I don't get it. I tried playing a little bit, and it just, it was too glitchy for my taste. Like, I have it on VR. I'm fucking like it. I have it on PS4. Uh, she wants me to buy it for the Switch. <laughs> like, do you need it on one person? She got it on the computer. She got it. Yeah, she wanted it on the computer, too. Mm-hmm. So go, Bill. Like, you have two copies downstairs. So, anyway, without further ado and torture, because that wasn't nearly as, inca- as competitive as one would hope. Um, yeah, so uh, back to you guys to wrap it up. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this week here on the Dace Man Show. I've been the Dace Man Dace. You can follow me on Twitter at the Dace Man. You can follow him, Gibby, at Gibby underscore 1337. You can follow our producer at Freddy with 10 Ds and two Ys. So, for the few, for my chicken, for the brown, and that whale, and for the Dace-tacular, Stay tuned, basement protocols. Until next time, I fucked that up. Stay tuned, basement dwellers. And until next time, stick to the protocol. Kick it to the plug. What's up, basement dwellers? I hope you enjoyed the latest basement protocol productions creation. I'm Chris the Dace Man Dace. I'm Frank. And we want to drop some social media plugs on you. Check us out on Twitter at the BPP official for all our tweeting. Or you can go over to Instagram at the BPP official as well for all our picture needs. Or Facebook, Facebook slash Basement Protocol Productions. Or YouTube slash Basement Protocol Productions. And if you're somebody who likes live, non-stop action content, you can go over to twitch.tv slash Basement Protocol. Or if you just like the internet in general, you can go to www.basementprotocolproductions.com. 
www.thepodcastnetwork.com. Either way you do it, doesn't matter. We'll see you next time.